Y'all, okay, first of all, before I start this video off, let's start it off on a serious note. I really do prayers and thoughts and condolences go out to everyone affected out there in um the UK, Manchester Arena, the explosion and all that shit. It's really fucked up that you can't even go to a concert without having to worry about whether or not you're going to go home in one piece or if you're going to go home at all, you know? So my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody affected by that. That's fucked up. That is... Oh, I was about to say something, but I didn't want to do that shit because y'all would have looked at me like, bitch. And I, you know, sometimes you just keep thoughts in your head. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the fuck on from that one because I was about to go somewhere that really didn't need to be. But Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta, season six, episode 11, bitch. Keep it real. Now, this episode did not already had me on some bullshit, okay? It picks up where it left off last week with Carly Red and Jocelyn. You know, Carly Red is all in her feelings. You know, because you don't never say nothing about me like that. And all I want to do is some people to matter and I stop acting like I'm a no nothing ass bitch. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Mind you, Jocelyn just sitting there like, well, the bitch know that she messy. She know that she messy, okay? And that's what it is. And I'm sitting here like, yeah, you telling the truth on that. And that's all she said. She When, jo when Carly came back out there, Bitch, Carly was like, you know, just sitting there crying. She's like, I ain't mean to make you cry, but bitch, damn. All I said was that you was messy, and the fact that that made you get so pissed off, what the fuck? You know, and so they eventually made up and all that shit. Jocelyn, I apologize for hitting you with the flowers, okay? I said, okay, fine. That's cute. That's whatever. All this shit fake. Bitch, let me look at... Mm. I was in the store today, and I got hit up by somebody who watched my videos... Bitch, y'all be catching me. And shout out to you, girl, because you came to my workplace one time already, too. And I don't remember if I gave you a shout out then, but I'm going to give you one now. You know, I appreciate seeing you each and every time I do. Listen, I look a goddamn mess, okay? Every fucking time. Every fucking time. Hair look like shit, all right? But, you know, it is what it is. Moving on before that. Jocelyn said, and you know about that envelope? It was empty. I said, bitch. I don't know why I fell out so hard the way I fell out when I heard that. I said, girl, you ain't telling us nothing new. I was like, we already know it wasn't shit up in there. When you held that bitch up and the light caught, it wasn't shit. The light went straight through, bitch. It wasn't nothing in there, okay? Moving on from that, J Stevie J. Stevie J is actually trying to be, you know, in the last couple of seasons or so, Stevie J has kind of, his role has switched from being a dirt bad to being someone with a little bit of sense that I can kind of see something for, okay? You know, I actually kind of like the motherfucker. He is sitting here telling Kurt, you need to get your shit together. Kurt said, you know, Scrappy was having his bachelor party or whatever the fuck it is. And um, he just knew for some reason to stay away from it. Okay, Jose, Jose. That's my boss name. Well, my um supervisor name. Bitch. No, I was like, what is his name? Stevie J. Stevie J. He said, you know, you it's a good thing that you didn't come because, look, Miss Charlene and them got up there on that thing calling you out and giving us paternity tests to get to you and all this shit. And the whole thing is he has not been home. He has not talked to Rashida. He wants the stuff to be over. He hopes that the baby ain't his. But how would you know if it's yours or not if you won't take the fucking paternity test? You are the one that's keep on drying this shit out and trying to put it on, put blame on everybody else. I just want people to just live their own lives and then do what they got to do instead of worrying about mine. Bitch, your, your fucking storyline is the most interesting and probably most real on this whole show. If it is real, bitch, okay? So, of course, everybody's going to be all up in your business. And if you ain't want nobody in your business, you could have just went on ahead and took care of that shit, okay? That's what the fuck you should have did. You out here just holding on to it and stretching this shit out for how many other episodes, okay? What is the big hold up? Then you trying to, you, the way that you're talking, I really hope, and the baby is yours. We know it, okay? We seen the, um, the, the video and all that shit, but... Y'all just, uh, y'all stretching this shit out for a storyline. I'm, I'm, I'm just disgusted with it and I'm just over it. Like, Kurt, you are the weakest motherfucker on this planet to do that to your woman. You literally have the audacity to accuse her of cheating and not only accuse her of cheating, accuse her of having another man's baby. You went and snuck and got that baby um, DNA tested to come to find out that it is your child, okay? But you refuse to get the side bitch that you got fucking pregnant, quote unquote, you know, 
you refuse to take this DNA test and you talking about some what comes first, family and all this stuff. You ain't got no family, bitch. You fucking that up. Okay? You are so fucking dumb and I ain't got time to go in on that shit. Me, me. Me, motherfucking me. Okay, so Tammy, Mimi, and who the fuck else was with her? Bitch, I don't remember. Okay, they came up there. Who all be kicking it with them? Tammy, Mimi, and who else? Bitch, you'll let me know. Anyway, um, Tammy's telling them about how Stevie J showed up at the party with this new girl, Estalita. Okay, and how, you know, <laughs> she his new artist on his Latin label, Latin division of Danger Zone. You know, oh my God. So he has a new artist? <laughs> Remember, baby mama number five, okay? She also was his artist, okay? And we all know how that turned out. Karma is a bitch, but anything is better than that trash ass hoe Jocelyn. Okay, I understand the reason why she pissed off. I understand, you know? They had a contentious ass relationship. It got volatile at one point. Jocelyn, we know, put out that messy shit. That's nothing that you'll get over. Hell no, you don't get over shit like that. But, you know, sometimes I feel like Mimi is putting it on for the cameras, you know, going over and beyond. Like, girl, I feel the anger, but then she just takes it a little bit further. You know, she has a deep hatred, and I believe that shit is real as fuck for Jocelyn. And, I, and it's totally understandable. It just makes me laugh when she goes off, okay? I just be like, girl, you know, she in a contentious... Cont confessional and you let's compare tits okay now Tammy tits you know she said everything on her body is real so her tits are just voluptuous and um they just look like they're soft and you know just Mimi look like if you go like you try to go like this you just go like I'm squeezing but I can't do I can't do nothing you know and it's just it just looks uncomfortable okay but she introduces them to Escalita my name is Escalita, and I'm up here and jumped at the opportunity to be the new Latin salsa artist on, no, go back. You're doing it too fast. You do, how am I supposed to read this if you're doing it too fast? Okay. My name is, I'm just going to start all over. My name is Escalita. Okay, and I jumped at the opportunity to be the new Latina. Okay, okay, I'm just going to be on Stevie J's. Yes, that's what it says, right? Stevie J. Stevie J's Grammy Award winning label. No, not yet. Oh, okay. Um, Bitch, I was just sitting here like, girl, if she ain't reading off this shit like a motherfucker, I'm just like, God damn. Damn, bitch. But anyway, she wanted to be the first. And then um, Mimi was like, did you hear about Jocelyn? She was like, I know about Jocelyn. At one point, I was staying with Stevie, and Jocelyn was in the house, too. Mimi, why she had to tell Mimi that for Mimi to get riled up and say, she, he better not have reneged on his deal, knowing damn well that I said that that bitch better not be around my daughter. You know, I, girl, okay, that's understandable, too, you know. She do got a restraining order. And like y'all said in um the comments, how the fuck is that going to work when a reunion comes through? Is the restraining order going to be expired by then? Or what's going to happen? Anyway, so they invite her into the fold. Tammy finna get ready for Jamaica. But, you know, she's also talking about Melissa and how Melissa then revealed that, that she and um, old girl used to fuck around. And, you know, Mimi... I understand where Mimi coming from and I feel like the way that Mimi is judging Melissa and her relationship with Jocelyn is the fact that she just really can't stand Jocelyn to her core. Okay. And it's just it's just irritating me because ain't no way in hell if you don't you ain't gonna dictate or tell me who the fuck I'm gonna be friends with, okay? And I really don't feel like I, I I can understand how in Mimi's eyes it seems as if um you know Melissa is doing back and forth with playing the fence and all that shit, but I really don't feel like it's like that with Melissa. Like girl, <laughs> I ain't gonna let a bitch stop me. That's what the fuck you do. Quit worrying about everybody else. Go ahead to goddamn Jamaica, bitch. And I just love the way Mimi trying to make herself seem as if she's above it all and above everybody else, especially Jocelyn or whatever. Jocelyn did some trash ass shit that she has not apologized for. But you talking about some, it says a lot about a person in, your, in their association, you know, who their association is. It says a lot what it say about me fucking around with you and you did porn. 
for on purpose. Girl, get out of here. You forgot about that? And you forgot about your whole past too? Oh, okay. And you know, me, me having a little tutor over there for um little um Eva. Eva is her daddy's daughter, okay? That girl is everything that is Stevie J, okay? Act just like him, very outgoing, got a nice little bubbly personality. I like the little girl. I was like, oh, the innocence that's being fucked up and don't even realize it, okay? Um, Mimi, she bringing over Stevie J because of the fact that they need to break the news to Eva that, you know, we're going to have a little baby girl that's your sister, okay? And she needs that the kids to come together and to be... As brother and sister, well, sister and sister in this case, okay? Siblings, all right? And, you know, she wants to reiterate to Stevie Jordan that um that bitch Jocelyn better not be around, okay? You know, so, all right, you know, Stevie got that. You know how she met him at the door. What was she trying to do, girl? She had her summer dress on, that maxi dress on with the tits all out and shit. I said, bitch, you really enticing or whatever. So you get all up in your feelings a little bit about the fact that you met Estella, Estelita, and then that she told you about Jocelyn. Oh, you playing house. He said, no, nah, I ain't playing house with the bitch. You might as well because I think y'all back together anyway. So whatever. Um, But all that shit go off without a hitch or whatever. And I understand that Mimi is probably coming from a friend view and, you know, you've been down this road before. You don't need to make the same mistake type of standpoint, but let that man, that man is going to do whatever the fuck it is that he want to do when it comes to Estelita. Okay. He claims it's going to be professional. You can't tell him to keep it strictly professional because technically you don't own him or you have no claims to him right about now. He's just a baby daddy, but you know, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure he probably will fuck him. I'm pretty sure she probably will let him. Um, uh, Estelita came on this bitch like she did not know what the fuck was going on on Love and Hip Hop. Like she didn't know what she, she said. I just want to know exactly what it is that I am getting into. I said, bitch, you didn't look that season one through five. You know exactly what the fuck you is. You getting into with Stevie and Jocelyn, bitch. Okay. Moving on from that. Um, told little Eva. Eva was like, she cool with it. As long as I'm still your little baby, I'm cool. Okay. Acting just like him. Get this bread. I said, don't teach that child that. Don't do that, okay? Then we have Jessica Dime. Jessica Dime, as y'all already know, she's engaged to this guy that she's on the show with now. And she said they just he just came back in. He's going to be in for two weeks. They actually known each other for a long time. He used to date on and off, but the time just wasn't right. He played basketball, so he's always traveling. And um, he was like, you bird to me. You my bird. You some shit like that. I said, bitch, this is cute as fuck, Jessica. How come you can't come on this motherfucker like this and I can like you really, really like you like this? The black hair and everything is nice on you. Um, anyway, we see in a different side of Jessica. It's like she's trying to clean up. Everybody trying to clean up their image. Well, half the cast is trying to clean up their image. I see y'all. Um, we get into their relationship and how deep it goes. And then, you know, she was talking about, uh, she wasn't sure about going on this trip to Jamaica. Because once, first of all, Tammy is going to be there. And she said... <clears throat> First of all, Sean said that shit was petty as fuck, okay? I said, listen to your man, Jessica. It's petty as goddamn fuck, okay? If he says it, believe it. And then, you know, he, he got feel away because he's actually cool, like family with Waka. So it was like, you know, he felt the way when he found out that they was beefing and all that shit. And I'm sitting here like, the thought occurred to me, well, bitch, you out here fixing everybody else's beef, but you can't fix the beef that you got with Tammy. And then she even said the same thing. I said, okay, so at least we was on the same thought pattern, okay? Okay, and then she said, you know, maybe I can be the bigger person and try to fix it and all this shit because I don't want the beef and all that. I said because the girl wasn't trying to do nothing to your ass, okay? Uh, but do what you got to do. So, you know, Jocelyn is out there filming a reel and we see how that shit going. Then, you know, of course they do show the segment where she was talking about um, Rashida and her relationship. Now, to be honest, well, to be clear, even though Jocelyn could have said no comment, I don't have to comment on that shit. She was asked about some love and hip hop tea and all this stuff that was going on. That's why she brought it up and that's why she was speaking on it. But like I said, she could have said that ain't none of my business, but it's Jocelyn. She gonna seize the moment. So that's when she put that shit out there. Okay. And we'll get on Rashida in a second with that one. So speaking of which, let's just go there. Tammy is there at her little shop, her workspace, whatever, getting her little swimsuit orders in. Um, Escalita 
she is there, Estelita, she is there, and I want to call her Estelita Banks so bad, okay? Uh, she there, trying out the um, swimsuits, being a model. Of course, Melissa is there, Rashida is there, Carly shows up, you know, of course, Melissa is fascinated with Estelita because that ass was jiggling, all right? Whether it's fake or not, it was looking kind of right. Moving on from that, that's the only compliment I'm going to give her for a second, okay? Because, bitch... That shit between her and Carly, when they introduced Carly to Estelita and told her, told them who she was and all this stuff and that she was working with Stevie J because Carly just told Jocelyn, I ain't going to say shit about what's going on with your baby daddy or whatever because Jocelyn said, don't tell me shit because I don't want to know shit because I don't give a fuck. So instead of Carly just saying, okay, how you doing? Mm hmm How you doing? All right. You know, nice to meet you. She got to be messy with it, okay? And see, Carly knows exactly what the fuck she's doing. She stirs the pot. She carries all the bones and stuff. She's a messy bitch, all right? So she's playing true to her character. And I would not I would be surprised if she took the mature approach and just said, hello, you know. No, she, hmm, interesting. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, interesting. But she won't say what it is or whatever. And I'm just sitting here like, you know exactly what you're doing. You really know what you're doing. She you want to use it as an excuse as, you know, I said I wasn't going to get involved in um, Jocelyn and Stevie J shit, but uh, his business is right here. So let me just shut the fuck up now. If you was going to shut the fuck up, that mm -hmm, interesting when it came out your mouth so many times. And, um, you know, they want Melissa to fix it with Mimi before they go to Jamaica. And she says she'll fix it with her when she gets to Jamaica because Mimi decided not to show up. Whatever the fuck. Uh, next thing you know, it was like, well, since you got this beef going on, wait a minute. Yeah, since you got this beef going on or whatever, she, somehow Estelita said, bitch, well, since y'all want to talk about some stuff, I want to be, I want to be included into the conversation too, okay? And this is what I can offer my two cents. Speaking on Jocelyn, you know she was up there doing a reel, right? Okay. And she was up there talking some shit about you and your personal life. I said, bitch, what you was doing? And she's like, listen, bitch, I can just give you the tape right here, okay? I said, oh, you saved the video? All right, let's see it. So Rashida looking at it, and of course they play that clip. And, you know, Melissa trying to take up for Jocelyn in a little bit of the way, saying maybe that was the hot topic or whatever to talk about, which it was at that moment. But then... You know, Rashida, here go Tammy. That's people lives you playing with. You don't do nothing like that. Okay, you know, Jocelyn don't fuck with Rashida. Okay, because Carly had told Joss, told them that Jocelyn and her had reconciled and all that shit. And it was like, oh, well, have you told Mimi? And they started talking about Jock or whatever and how, you know, they're going to be at the um, opening or whatever. That's what it was. Her new grand opening or whatever, Jocelyn was going to be there. So if Jocelyn's going to be there, Rashida said she's definitely not going to be there, especially after this. And, you know, Salito, E. Salito was like, well, I guess I can go in her place. And then, you know, Carly kept saying, interesting. She's like, so is it interesting? Carly Red said, I said I wasn't going to do nothing and all this shit, but you got this empanada. Took me the fuck out. I said, bitch, not an empanada. Not an empa empanadas be good if you know how to cook it right. Not an empanada, bitch. That is no, no, don't do that shit, ho. Then um, you know, Rashida had the nerve to say, Why would you put this out there on national TV? I got kids. Now he probably that probably watched this stuff. He probably go to school and they gonna be talking about it. Baby, let me tell you something. This shit was already out there. And if you really care so much, you should have told um uh, you you you, you should have told Kirk or got on Kirk ass a little bit more for that motherfucker to have a DNA test. You mean to tell me you can't go take a toothbrush swab or whatever, some shit while he sleep or whatever, stick something up in there? I'm pretty sure the nigga look like he drew when he go to sleep. You couldn't get that saliva sample, okay? You couldn't get a... Uh, well, y'all ain't fucking, so you couldn't get that semen sample. But, bitch, you ain't got none of his DNA around the house somewhere. I mean, he probably ain't been there in a minute, but still, I got questions. And then you talking to... Bitch, this shit been out in the blocks before... Jocelyn even. That's why I was brought up because it was in the blogs. Bitch, we get shit off the blogs and Twitter before we get shit off TV and um, you know, the actual news news. Okay, so girl, your, your, your son already fucking know. Get over it. Alright? So, um, 
Jock is getting his hair done. And, of course, he started talking about how, you know, maybe he the only one in the hood that can pull it off. And he like attention and he want to get noticed. So, that's why he did it. I actually kind of like it now. I really do. And they do. Maybe because even wearing this shit so long, it, 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 just, it just fits right now. Okay? But, um... Anyway, Tammy Tommy come up there to apologize for using him and all that shit. And he gonna she gonna say something, but you should have told me the um what was going on, the depths of the relationship. I said, girl, no, that ain't what it is. Bitch, you saw what you needed to do and you went after it, okay? You don't need to know if they were still fucking around or not. No, bitch, that's not what revenge is. Oh, I'm not gonna do this so hard because you still fucking know you you got with the bitch because you wanted to make the other bitch fucking uh, upset and um uh, uh, you know mission accomplished and all that shit. And then you know they worked the shit out and they still gonna be cool. And he said, you know, at the end of the day, what's fucked up is that I still didn't even get to fuck with you. And she said, you know what? Before Carly came up in that bitch, I was about to let you hear. I said, goddamn, KK was kind of right. You just let anybody run up in that shit, Tommy. Um, moving on from that, Estelita. And Stevie J, they're doing a photo shoot. So Stevie J is a little worried about, you know, hearing that Estelita has met up with just about everybody. And, you know, he's like, you know how these girls are, they gossip, they messy and all that shit. And he want her to be careful. And then she said, <laughs> I met up with everybody. I met up with your baby moms, Mimi, Rashida, Melissa, Tammy. And then this dusty water roach, Carly. You know, every time she was saying that, you know, I was working with you, she was like, mm, interesting. And I'm like, what the fuck, bitch? You need to take your oil ass back to a retirement home. It took me out. I said, girl, you, you, you got some late reads, but that water roach, that shit was hilarious to me for some reason. Okay? But, um... I mean, empanada, rudder roach, I guess, you know. So, Stevie J just wants them to be cool and, um, you know, to chill the fuck out. And then she brings up the fact that, I thought you said that I was going to be the only Latin woman um artist on your label. What about this Jocelyn chick? I mean, she signed to Danger Management, Danger Zone Management, but I don't work with her. I don't work with her. I mean, you got my undivided attention. You said the same shit to Jocelyn, too. You see how that shit turned out. But um, we'll see how that shit go. He thinking like, damn it, bitch, I should have kept the hoe in the house. I'm really over Kirk and Rashida at this point because Kirk just doesn't understand the severity of what she's going through. Um... He making it seem as if because she's saying, you know, they finally met up and she was like, I got to hear from people um, going around talking about our business, the blogs talking about it, Jocelyn on the real talking about it, the real talking about it, um, people coming into my job asking me, am I okay? Do they need me to fuck Kurt up and all this shit? And, you know, he talking about something that's social media for you because she said, I can't even post a picture without people saying stuff. And I'm sitting here like... So you literally going to tell her that you just shouldn't care about what other people say and let it get to you? Bitch, that's impossible in certain situations like this when your shit is all the way every fucking where and you have a doodal, dirt ass nigga that don't want to help and um, fix the shit, okay? You put out there saying, well, at that time, it felt like we was married by paper but it just didn't feel like we was really married i asked you could you massage this and rub that and everything would be no and she said okay and if i didn't do that and if it was the reverse i don't go out there and get no trick ass bitch pregnant or go fuck around on nobody and my whole thing is if it was issues going the issues going deeper than what they are it's gonna be a lot of stuff that we need to fix and all this shit we don't need Rashida talking and letting other people get to her. I'm sitting here like if y'all had fucking issues deep like that, your first thing is to go cheat and get your dick wet and a few bitches and not go and sit, ask your wife, can we sit down and actually have a conversation about what's going on with our relationship? That didn't come up to your mind. I said, fuck you, Kurt. She said, are you going to get a DNA t t a test? No, nah, because... I heard it's a lot of stuff that she got going on and this the type of shit that she do. Okay, so if you know that this is what's, what's wrong with, um, you know, eliminating you out the process, okay? Well, what's wrong with that? Because you know that's your child. That's what the fuck is wrong with it. She put that shit on there. She said, once you get your DNA test, then we can have another meeting. But until then, deuces. I said, all right. 
Rashida, you still ain't gonna do shit. Moving on from there, Jocelyn go over there to um, you know, she back in Atlanta, got baby Bella go over there to um Stevie house. And she looking she dressed like this on purpose, especially when it cut. She dressed like this all the time, but she dressed like this on purpose. And she did look nice. I ain't gonna lie. You know, with ja, uh with Stevie, of course. She liked playing with that man. Listen, am I the only one who was looking at the bottom of her red bottoms after what Karen King put out there in that video when she was talking about shoes? Bitch, you was doing a photo shoot. What type of photo shoot was you doing on some goddamn train tracks or some shit? Her, her red bottoms was stuffed up from the bottom, okay? And I was trying to see, was it the reflection or whatever? But each angle, it was still stuffed up. She wore them shits down to the ground. I mean, it is what it is, okay? But, um, he want her to get back on Danger Entertainment. She said, we can, no, okay? He want her to move in and do some business and be personal. She said, no, we're not finna do that. He rubbing all on her. She said, no, and I'm finna move to Miami and I want $20,000. I said $20,000 a month, bitch. That baby, it don't take, no, it don't. No, the fuck it don't. No, the fuck it don't. You, no, the fuck it don't. You can't tell me. It's no, the fuck it don't. Stop playing. Plus your own income. Get the fuck out of here, Jocelyn, with that shit. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if you can milk it out of her, milk it, bitch. And so it's time for Carly Red Little Grand reopening of her store. And of course, Estelita, Young Jock, and all them is there. And Estelita was like, bitch, I'm going to be here even though the bitch was being rude. But I can be a little shady. I mean, it's little like a flea market out there in L.A. and all that stuff. And, you know, I know I'm not being rude. I came here to support the old lady. I said, girl, the old jokes are kind of getting old. But... Because, you know, we've been saying them forever, and it's like, girl, you trying to hijack our shit, but whatever. Nice try, but no, it's no cigar. And, um, Jessica Dime showed up with her new boo. Jock was saying, you know, she been smiling a lot, and so I see why. I ain't never seen her smile so much. And so give him compliments and stuff like that. And then here come Carly with, um, Caesar. I said, I just don't, I think they still together. I still not buying it. And, I mean... It's disgusting, but maybe it's okay now because now she finally dating somebody that's close in age to her. Because y'all know she's an old too, okay? So maybe, I don't know. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. That's love and hip-hop. I'll see y'all later. Peace.